Hi there, uh, I have some news. Now, I know what the title says, but I quickly wanted to clarify that I personally don't like to use the term coming out as a furry, which is why it's in air quotes, because it's a hobby, it's not a sexual orientation, you don't come out as a tennis player, it's a joke. It's just a joke. I don't care if you like to use that term or not, it's fine. Personally, I don't use it, it's a joke. So now that, <laughs> now that I've said that, I can get on with the thing. So yes, I came out to the entire town about being a furry. Now, why did I do that? Why, why did I do something that stupid? Well, it's because I like to take little walks in the woods in my fursuit and it's nice and calming and it also motivates me to walk, like to, to move more. So uh, someone from the local paper picked that up and they called me and they were like, hey, can we do an interview? And I was like, yeah, sure, let's do it. So it's uh, for the Dutch part of where I live. I live right, I live in Belgium and I live right near the border with the Netherlands. And it's from the Dutch part of my town. And like they wanted to do a video interview and an interview for the paper. And just to print, this is the paper article. Look at that. It's me and it's Ravi. So they thought Ravi was the more interesting one. So that's the one I used. I will probably use snippets of the video interview as well. But I speak Dutch in it and I hate hearing myself speak Dutch. And also I'm going to have to translate the entire freaking thing. So it's basically the whole article is about... It's also an entire page of the paper. It's about why I do this, uh, that I don't want to scare people, and that I don't do this all the time, that I'm not dressed up all the time. Basically, like, it explains my characters, who Ravi is, who Rika is, who Maeve is, why I walk in the woods, and yeah, it's super cool, and I got awesome reactions from people. People are like, yeah, be yourself, you go girl, which I really liked. I wasn't planning on doing this, but yeah, Sometimes I walk through the woods and they're like, hey, you're the wolf girl. And I'm like, yeah, that's me. I'm like, oh, cool. I hope I see you in your costume. I want to take a picture. I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, yeah, I'm so proud of it. I've been in the paper before about my little petting zoo I have, which they also found interesting. And it also says that, um, and yeah, I'm going to say it again. I have autism and hypersensitivity. And it also says it in the paper. And I basically explain that um, Ravi is based on those symptoms. That she is extremely sensitive, has a sensitive hearing and smell like I do. And when I complain as a human without the costume that something's too loud or something is too bright or too... Like, I, I, there's a certain smell I can't stand. People are like, just, don't be such a baby. Like, it's no big deal. But when I wear the costume, aka Ravi, <laughs> uh, when I say, can you please be a bit more silent? Because I'm a wolf and my hearing is good. And they're like, oh yeah, of course. Duh. Wolves have that. So that's also what I said in here. Um, I will use some snippets of the interview. And I'm probably gonna have to subtitle them and I'm really not looking forward to that. But yeah, people have been really nice to me and Mostly they're like because I also see in the article that yeah Ravi is really realistic and kids tend to get scared and people tend to get scared and I put in there that yeah I know this and uh, that I try my best to actually make them not scared like I, I take my distance I try talking to them and if they're really uncomfortable if people are uncomfortable I'll take the head off and I explain what I do because I know people might get scared of me might get scared of this might ask yourselves like what are that person's intentions and I wanted to make clear in my article that I know this and I tried my best to make everyone feel comfortable because it has to be fun for everyone like if you're going out like this and people are scared don't be an asshole take the mask off Try to, try to explain to them, like, I'm so sorry you got scared, that was not my intention. Uh, I hope you feel okay now, I hope your day is fine, like, I, I do this, this is the reason why I do this. And of often the people are like, okay, yeah, it's fine, usually I'm scared, but you're cool, so... <laughs> yeah, I thought it was really cool that I actually got into the paper and got, like, a video interview telling the, enti <laughs> telling the entire town that I'm a furry. 
En dan een paar dagen later op Facebook ben ik aan het scrollen en dan zie ik opeens mijn kostuum met oh, Wolf Teko in bos, super leuk, ik hoop dat je nog eens tegenkom wie ook bent. En dan dacht ik, oh, oké, okay. dat was eigenlijk wel gewoon leuk. Hey, dus ik heb heel erg gevoelige zintuigen, vandaar dat ik dat ook graag uitdruk met de wolf. Want ja, uh, uh, ik heb een, een heel erg gevoelige reukzin en gehoor, zoals de wolf dat heeft. En uh, als ik zelf zeg van het is te luid voor mij of ik kan die geur niet, niet verdragen, zeggen ze allee, doe nu toch eens normaal, stel u niet zo aan, stel u niet aan. Maar als je dat als wolf zegt van kun je een beetje stiller zijn, want eh, dat doet pijn aan mijn oor. Ja, tuurlijk, ja. want ja, bij een wolf is dat logisch dat je daar last mee hebt. En hoe? De meeste reacties zijn verbazingwekkend genoeg heel positief. De meeste mensen zijn heel opgewekt en roepen van achter op hun fiets Ah, oh, leuk initiatief, leuk, tof. En dat had ik echt niet verwacht op zich. En al ja, ik kom vaak kindjes tegen, ze verwachten dat ze bang zijn van een wolf, maar die komen dan bij mij staan en dan maak ik mama een foto. En dan een paar dagen later op Facebook ben ik aan het scrollen en dan zie ik opeens mijn kostuum met Ah, oh, wolf teko in bos, super leuk, ik hoop dat je nog eens tegenkomt wie ook bent. En dan dacht ik, oh, oké. Okay. Dat was eigenlijk wel gewoon leuk.